All right, friends, give it up. It's DOSBox Falco. DOSBox Falco and, uh, oh, where did, oh, and Aquas, sorry. DOSBox Falco and Aquas with the Ghouls and Ghosts raised. Give it up, friends. What's up, awesome games done quick 2020. We got Ghouls and Ghosts here today, and on my left, we've got Aquas, who actually set the world record for this game just last week. Woo! So give it up for that. And on my right, we've got DOSBox Falco. Uh, these guys are pretty much the top contenders for this game, and it should be a wicked race. So on the couch here, we got Telio1 all the way on the right. We got Fred underscore underscore. We got Glitchwitch. Yo. And I'm Zed Ahmed. And uh, I guess we're going to get into it. Yeah, right yeah I guess yeah. we came here to play a game, so. Oh, you want to do a countdown? <laughs> Full couch countdown? Yeah, from five. All right. All right. Five, five, four. four. Three, two, one, go! All right, good luck to both runners. So stage one is pretty straightforward. It's mostly just jumping and shooting. Um, Ghouls and Ghosts is a game that's got a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty fat legacy to it. I mean, this game is pretty recognizable. The series is known to have taken many quarters and probably claimed many controllers over the years. <laughs> um, it's famous for having the two loops so you're going to see the runners go through five stages, and then they're going to get kicked back to stage one, have to go through the whole game one more time, and then they can take on the final boss and beat the game. That's right. So coming up to this uh, first uh, section here, you're going to see Aquas go back and grab a, a gold uh, armor here to try to get a one-shot on Shielder as long as he plays the rest of the level clean, while Doss is going to go ahead and travel up right here and uh, take out these uh, big uh, pigs and try to get to Shielder with just uh, his steel armor, which is just fine as well. Going to save a little bit of time, go a little bit faster, but Aquas might make up the time here if he can get a quick kill. But here's uh, uh, Doss coming up to the first kill on Shielder here. Really clean, clean. clean, yeah, and Aquas with the oh, Oof. Uh oh, shield are going for a walk. <laughs> oh, oh my and Aquas gets taken out. So Shielder is actually probably what the most complex boss. Yeah, when it comes to the RNG, he's got basically infinite patterns, and that can happen sometimes. But I'm sure Aquas will be able to recover here. That's right. Now Doss coming up uh, against these turtles. How's this turn around there? There's a this is a bit of a fiesta pattern here, but it should be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. He's gonna come up, and if you notice, he's gonna get a boost if he uh, jumps. Uh, right under the bridges here from the stand, he's going to maintain his momentum. And there, oh, nice, he gets it right there, really good. And uh, Aquas again coming up to shield there, see if we can get it clean. Looks like Doss didn't come up to the uh, Aremer King. It's the only Aremer in the game that actually takes four hits to kill. All the other Aremers in the game take three. Oh, uh oh. Pew! <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right, let's see Aquas if he can get the quick. There's the oh, quick kill. There we nice. go. So Doss goes for an intentional death here. Uh, so let's talk about intentional deaths for a second. This game's got a dynamic difficulty system, uh, really commonplace in a lot of old arcade games. Basically, uh-oh, oh. <laughs> axe gift. skip, axe skip, that's pretty hype. <laughs> um, axe is not a weapon you want in this game. It's almost put in the game as a troll. Uh, so he's going to hold on to the lance, and on stage three, he's going to be looking to upgrade that lance to a dagger. That's going to be really important in the run. That's right, and more about the dynamic difficulty, a lot of these guys are gonna be maybe taking intentional deaths to D-rank, a tactical D-rank. And uh, we got the Cerebus fight with Doss. Nice and easy uh, pattern here to take care of. No RNG at all. Looks like he uh, is gonna get it nice and clean, very nice. Nice catch. Nice catch. Oh, nice. oh, this is the only version where you can get a nice catch on That's level right, two, yeah, on the arcade, yeah. I guess the fire's too hot to hold yeah. the keys. So. That's right. Way too blazing. All right, and uh, I guess we could have uh, maybe Zed or Fred talk about the clip here. I, I doubt we're going to see it because I think these runners are going to try to get the dagger. So there's a very interesting trick that was discovered pretty recently. Uh, at the end of this auto scroll on stage three, there's a wall on the on the right side, and due to how the game is coded, if, if the wall is an object, I guess the same as these chests that you're seeing DOSBox spawn. So DOSBox is looking for a dagger here. It looks like he wasn't able to and find Aquas it. And gets Cerebus. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh there's, there's a knife. The Ooh. And a knife, dude, yeah. Okay. So the way this glitch works, uh, if you don't open more than one chest on the screen, the, the wall at the end of the auto-scroller actually despawns, and you can clip through it. It's crazy. It's good stuff. <laughs> so because he didn't find the dagger right away, he went for the safe strat, and he, he opened a few more chests. So he's not going to be able to do that. Uh, so Aquas got the dagger one. early. Oh, so got the dagger is, there. He's okay. going to be able to clip this wall. 
Yeah, nice. So that'll save, uh, I think, maybe about eight seconds. Something like that, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not an insane amount, but it's definitely definitely helpful and it'll help them close the gap that's happening right now. And because the game has two loops, every new strategy basically gives you double the time save exactly. that it actually offers. So Doss coming up to the tongues here. Uh, he's going to go for a strat here where he does this very specific jump pattern to jump across these... Uh, these platforms that are moving, it's going to be pretty enough to handle it. Dude, this section is really scary, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think playing this game casually, this is probably the hardest section in the game. Yeah, and Dust is going to jump on an invisible platform right here and jump right... Oh, very there perfect. There we go. Really nice. nice. It's not apparent how many, like... Okay, here, here comes the Aquas with the wall clip, though. Let's see. Just walk through the wall. <laughs> there it is, nice. yeah. <laughs> wall is decent. Oh, he's going to take the Oh, moves. yes! <laughs> <laughs> And Doss takes down uh, um, uh, Gastudo very, very clean as well, and he's going into level four now. So this game's kind of got that Kaizo effect where there's a lot of things happening that you, you may not actually notice. Um, there's a lot of strats in this game designed to kind of get around these things that are placed to basically trap and kill you. Uh, and the runner, the run so far has been super clean, so... <laughs> Nice, Aqua's coming up to this uh, Gasuda fight. A little bit scary without his armor, but he should be just fine. Cleans it up nicely, very good. All right, and uh, Doss coming up to this last bun man, and here you're gonna see a damage boost uh, that Doss is gonna take. Uh, he actually got through that cave very, very clean, so he's gonna try to take a damage boost here and, uh, and still recover his armor after, so he can play Ohm really nice and safe. So if he gets a nice shot here, there it is, really nice. Skipping a lot of this platforming on these slopes, recovers the armor. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Big jump? No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. Oh. So Aquas takes a hit in the worm tunnel. This is probably the only area in the game where you are liable to just get sandwiched and hit. Yeah. But it's not a problem because he's going to be able to take an intentional death at the checkpoint here. Yep. That's another really nice death from Aquas. And uh, here we have Doss uh, taking out Ohm. These intestines are the only part that you can damage. You need to kill all five of them. And if you notice, they go in and out. Oh, wow. He gets that last one here. And that's actually the safe spot on the very uh, far of Ohm's head. Nice, nice kill on Ohm there. Awesome pattern from Ohm. Ohm can cause a lot of time loss in RNG. Those worms flying around are fully invincible, and they have a tendency to block your projectiles. Here's Aquas coming up to Ohm again. Yeah, he uses fight with uh, no armor here, and uh, Doss takes a oh the the dragons. Oof. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he was high rank. Tactical D rank, dude. Yeah, yeah. tactical D rank. He was very high rank, and when when you have that, you get extra dragon spawns, you get extra enemy spawns. It's very rough. That's the price he had to pay for doing such a clean worm tunnel on Space Yeah, board. exactly. <laughs> Like, the game makes you pay eventually because, like, the rank just goes really high. Yeah, it goes through the roof. The game sure. just goes crazy eventually. Aqua's about to take down Ohm. There it is. Nice kill on Ohm there. And so here, uh, this is kind of the gauntlet uh, of uh, level five here. There's, you have to kill four Reamers here, and then he's going to try to hit these uh, pigs in such a way to make the very top pig run to the right and, and puke down on him. And then he's going to take a boost and a tactical death right very here. Very nice. Perfect from DOSBox. Now we have Aquas coming up trying to do the exact same thing. So this death that DOSBox just took is one of the most important deaths in the run because if you don't take a death here, your rank is going to be too high on loop two, stage one, to take the boost up to shielding. Yeah. It makes the, it makes the, uh, the climb, oh. they're very difficult. What, what happened? That was really oh. strange on uh, Aquas' screen. Not sure what that was. It's okay. We're going to have the puke and he's going to take his D rank there. Really nice for Aquas as well after that. Uh, interesting stuff. So we saw DOSBox use the first magic of the run there. Uh, there's basically three states Ar Arthur can be in in this game. He can be naked, he can have the steel armor, and the gold armor. The gold armor gives you access to the magic ability, which changes depending on what weapon you have. Exactly. So now we have the dual Astroth fight. It looks like uh, Doss is going to try to take both of them down. He's going to get his uh, armor back right here with the three mini Gasudos. He can try oh. to skip them. He might try to kill this top one. That's a really nice strategy there. Oh, and uh, Aquas gets... Uh, there's gets a lot fight. of enemies at the end here. Yeah, the gauntlet is real here. Be really careful. Yeah, it's Cloud is back. Oh, oh, mm. Guarding the ladder. <laughs> Dude, the ladder guard right there. That's so good. Oh, no. Dirty play from Gasuda. Oh, it looks like he... Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, this, gonna... this is really exciting. Dude, this is some spicy <laughs> gameplay right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, man. See, this is the, the, the power of 5B. It's just insane. And now Aqua's going up to this double shielded fight again with his boxers. Oh, oh nice. strawberry print underwear. My, my goodness. Oh, oh the ladder dodge. <laughs> oh, man. Just nice. dropping into the butt frames to dodge the fireball. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Someone like Aquas could do that. So it looks like this uh, this race is very, very tied up here. Uh, Adas is going up. He's going to have the advantage of having the uh, the magic. The, also, the magic, when you cast it, 
It should give you a tiny bit of iframes. Oh, Aquas is having a little bit of uh, issue with the TV here. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the second time it looks like it's yeah. turned off on him. Sorry, right, he just, he, he just Luckily, gets... Luckily, it's, it's still Aqua, so he, he's like a pro. He doesn't even <laughs> need to look at the screen, probably. He's good enough. To... Dude, it, it's blindfolded ghouls and ghosts right here, man. <laughs> oh, Demo Arthur? Nice dodges. Should be able to take him out on the second cycle. Great recovery from Aqua. All right, nice, TV nice turning off. Yeah. That's two times that the TV is turned off on Aqua. <laughs> that was good. Good stuff. Have you ever seen Theoden and Santa in the same room at once? Never do you have. <laughs> That's just a fact. <laughs> Looks so, like, uh, uh, oh, nice pattern from Bob here, but hopefully he can uh, get it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the same exact pattern. Nice, nice kill oh, from nice. Uh, DOSBox as well. <laughs> we got time for a couple of donations. Yeah, this would be a great time for you. in intermission. Sure thing. We have $10 from Dadhawk. Much love from Fran and the boys to our main man, DOSBox Falco. Big shout out to all the staff, runners, and donors as well. Thank you for fighting the good fight and making me proud of being a part of the glorious speedrunning community. I can probably go for one more, I think. Yeah, I think one more. Sure thing. We have $10 from Michael Steps. Just had to donate during the Sega block in honor of my mom who got me my original console. Genesis does beat cancer. So here the big difference on loop two, DOSBox. Oh, he got the loop two bird. That's nice. it, man. <laughs> so that bird that appeared at the start of stage one is actually the only difference between loop one and loop two. Exactly. In, in, uh, in Super Ghouls, uh, for instance, Loop 2 ga gains difficulty just from being in it. But again, this game has the dynamic difficulty, so as long as they take that death uh, on 5B, they're going to just have a very similar uh, Loop 1 uh, in Loop 2 as well. I was going for the damage boost here. I guess if he's feeling confident since he has a dagger, uh, he can output more damage against Shield right now. And uh, Dostic, another... uh, checkpoint death there. Really, really good strat there. Nice, we get a nice flow walk from Shielder. He can be pretty mean, sometimes he kind of rushes you into the yeah. corner. The revenge kill from Aquas on loop two, very nice. And let's see, uh, there's the, the turtle parade again. Yeah, there's only a few patterns on uh, Mega Drive, so they should be able to recognize uh, each of their, each of what they are and hopefully react. Oh, okay. a gift. Ooh. Ooh, so he tries going for the discus, dip, uh, discus skip and it gets him hit, but honestly, I think that's worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the dagger is uh, by far the best weapon in the game because of the fact that you get three of them on screen. Yeah. Every weapon does the same amount of damage. All weapons do one damage except the Inside sword. of Shielder's head from DOS. Oh. Very nice kill there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Thumbs down>, dude. <laughs> so Shielder, get out, dude. So uh, Aqua's going to duel the king here, the Arima king, in uh, his boxers. Let's see if he attempts to kill him. That's two, that's three, and four. Nice, there very nice kill. Oh, the fiesta oh. pattern again from the turtles for DOS. Turtle parade. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of turtles, dude. <laughs> Aqua's going for a little clip up on the ladder there. Wait, you got the clip? He, yeah. he went for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay. You can skip that ladder, it saves probably half a second or something. <laughs> Man, very spicy dayfly patterns for uh, DOS box there. But now uh, Aquas is going to come to the Cerberus fight. A little bit easier again on loop two because he actually has the knife. So it should be very, very easy yeah, to kill him. Very quick kill, very nice there. So now that he's got the dagger on stage three, he's not worried about farming for weapons. So all he's got to do is avoid the goblins and go for that wall clip to save another seven or eight seconds. Exactly. Yeah. It looks like Doss took a, took a death there because he was in boxers and the Arima King gave him a really nasty pattern. So it's not a, not a bad idea to just take a death, get your armor back and boost right here. Oof. Oh, no. Oh, no. Missed the ladder grab. Yeah, there. he needs to, he was, he was trying to get up the ladder there to boost up and uh, get on there so that he can have some invincibility frames to get past some of the fire bats, but that was a little unfortunate. A lot of this game is kind of paced, like the spawns are paced in such a way that if you were to walk in normally, a lot of stuff kind of appears right in your way. So these little damage boosts kind of get you ahead of that pace and let you skip most of the enemy spawns. So you can see here he's kind of getting blocked by these fire pillars. That's what the boost is designed to avoid. Mm, yeah. He's taking it safe now. So a good thing about this, uh, compared to Super Ghouls, uh, dying in this game is not that bad because in Super Ghouls you have a lot of power-ups you need. Like, it's really punishing to die there, but in this game you just... Mash away the the, uh, the map screen, you're good to go again. Yeah, in this game, the, the magic for any of the items isn't particularly strong. I guess, uh, yeah, nice kill there on the service for uh, DOS. Some of the, the magic again. Nice. Uh, <laughs> but he doesn't have the uh, the RNG pattern there to, to get the damage boost, so it's still really good. And he gets up there on the tongue section, very nice. Back to the tongues. The gift. 13. Oh. I wanted, I wanted that fire. Dude. That's a fire water. You don't really want that, but if you take it, it's going to make sounds like... 
<laughs> so that's all it's good for. Yeah. All right, and so now he's gonna get on the pad. Oh, see, right there on the edge of his mouth, there's actually a, a kill, a kill box there. If he touches the edge of that mouth, yeah. there he's it's an instant really death. Be really careful. So nice kill on. Nice, good kill on on uh, the shooter there. Okay, so Aquas is heading into the uh, the worm tunnel again, which is like the I don't know, like the really difficult gauntlet of the game. Just, and just about anything can happen in here. And uh, even the crystals on the top. Uh, they cause damage if you jump. So if you if you jump into those top crystals as well, you you, <laughs> you uh, take damage there. So you can't actually even uh, jump in certain sections. You just gotta walk. He's gonna kill the. Uh, oh, he gets hit by the I worm. There's no problem. Okay. He gets a few jumps from the ceiling there with his iframes, and he's able to get out. Exactly. Yeah. Dos got uh, hit the clip there as well, so that's really nice. Out. And uh, looks like Aquas didn't take an intentional death here. Very nice. Very nice. Gets through the tunnel. Oh, the flame denied uh, Das Boss there. That's okay. Yeah, it's eaten by the, the tongue the section is just a, tongue play, a tough place to be on. Yeah. Like, if you get hit, you're just going to fall down. And here, Aquas is going for the damage boost again. He's going to walk to the right so he can spawn an extra chest. So that way, this chest right here is going to be a safety armor. Really, really good strat. You can actually go a little bit faster, but it would uh, leave him on the boss without armor, which is yeah. really, really tough. No big dump. Very good. Strategy you want to avoid in this game? Yeah, big dump is when you dump your bones into the water here on stage four. Yeah, so you're going to see uh, Aquas is going to pace out the first uh, couple of knife hits because if you just spam your daggers and uh, shoot down, it's actually going to um, lose the hitbox. So he's going to want to, uh, you know, strategically mash there. And uh, there you see Dosbox get oh, the worm. That was a worm, fine worm whispering right there. Yeah, he stopped and looked at him for a second. <laughs> you're not going to hit me. Yeah, very <laughs> nice home kill from Aquas. So coming up on the stage five and loop two here. On loop two, uh, you, ha you have access to the ultimate weapon in the game. It's called the Psycho Cannon. And the way you obtain it is you need to put on the gold armor and then open a weapon chest. And the goddess of battle will appear and drop the weapon. You need that weapon to actually complete the game. That's what the cutscene is about. Uh, Theoden slash Santa slash St. Michael explains to you that you're not going to be able to defeat the final boss, Loki, without this weapon. So Aquas is going to look to get it right here after these Reamers. He's got his gold armor, spawns the goddess of battle. Clone magic just for funsies. Oh, nice. Yeah, and also the clone magic, uh, which is exclusive to the dagger. Uh, your clone will actually still shoot uh, daggers, and you don't get the double cycle cannon. It's just too strong, man. <laughs> this weapon is incredibly powerful, but it's unique in the sense that it's got limited range for a projectile weapon. And the damage that it deals is based on how close you are to the opponent. So the reason they haven't taken this weapon earlier in the run is because of the boss that you see DOSBox Falco fighting right now. It's very difficult to get good damage on these intestines because the damage falls off with the Psycho Cannon. Okay, just look at this ridiculous damage from the Psycho Cannon. Very nice on DOSBox yeah. side. It's just gonna and yeah, just crush He also has the advantage of when using the gold armor, uh, the, do the uh, Psycho Cannon also destroys projectiles. So he can kind of just stand in front of Shielder and just kind of destroy the, the flame as it comes out. Yeah. Still a very, very close race. Both players are on level five here. Doss looks like he's going, or excuse me, Aquas coming to the final uh, Gasudo Jr. gauntlet here. Yep. Destroys the top one. Okay. Making this boss rush look like a joke. Yeah, he just has to be careful about oh, the gift. The here. final gift. Oh. oh. This must this, be okay. This just, uh, yeah, we're going to have to, oh, clips through it. Perfect. Okay, he can still do this. It's going to be a bit more difficult when you don't have armor here, but. He's going to have to play it today. He gets really a really good pattern. Oh, nice. So That's a lot of damage. When Beelzebub turns into the little flies here, you can shoot at them to manipulate them to kind of move past you. It doesn't always work, so you got a good pattern there. He's going to have to play it really safe. Without the gold armor, he does not have the ability to destroy projectiles. Yes, the kill. Go. Very good, very nice. good. So like in most uh, Ghouls and Ghosts uh, Makamura games, the final, final boss is kind of a, a little bit of an easy guy. He's going to look to damage boost up on the knee against Loki. As soon as he kills Loki, it's going to be time. Beep, beep. Doesn't get the boost up, but... We got a spicy pattern. Oh, oh. Okay, That's time for Aquas. Meanwhile here, uh, Dals is looking to be in great shape right here. He's got Psycho Cannon and Gold Armor ready for the, the mini boss like gauntlet here. Do we have time for a quick donation? Yeah, go for it. Sure thing. We got $1,649 from Conrad Speedrunning Pals. Shout out to Zed on the couch. All your friends here at Conrad Group got together to raise this money to support you and this wonderful Oh, pod. my God. 
Nice. Big and shout out to the Palace. Last box just crushing the boss in one cycle. Yeah, right I got there. the one cycle. So we're going to see if he gets the boost up uh, onto Loki's leg here. Oof, just barely misses it, no problem. Should be fine. Uh, ooh. Oh, the, the double, double kill. Yeah, that <laughs> actually, that actually isn't, uh, isn't time yet. He, uh, if you get the double kill, the double KO, it's actually not time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> ooh, got a bad pattern with that leg there. Couldn't get up on the knee. Oh. Stomp gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, third time's the charm. Here we go. Yeah, this is the one, dude. Oh, nice. And he, and he, he says, here you go, man. You take it. You did good. <laughs> There's there, time. There we go. Awesome run. <laughs> Still better than my PB. <laughs> and, uh, do we want uh, our runners to be able to stay? <laughs> yeah, great, great race with uh, Fel my man Felco here. Um, yeah, awesome. Thanks everyone for watching. This is great, and uh, enjoy the rest of the marathon. Yeah, yeah, good stuff, man. <laughs> Shout out to the cool Discord, dude. The ghouls crew, dude. <laughs> the ghouls crew. Yeah, the, the ghouls community has been growing. And uh, one recently. final uh, ar armor hit noise. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs>Hello, Blacky. I am a speedrunner. It is good to talk to you. Uh, I am in no revelation to send. But the event has gone very good for me. Uh, just like the good of this prize. It is Casey Jones painting from Good Friend Puzzle Bay. I am big fan of it and it is $10 minimum donation from now until end of Metal Gear Solid. That's great. I mean, the glitches in your upcoming run are so interesting. I was checking it out first. These things must be like one, two frame, uh, like, windows at most. How can you pull these tricks off so consistently? Yes, well, you see, uh, frame is an important thing for me. Just like this lovely framed uh, 
Ghosts and Goblins ending scene cross stitch from our friend Skater43. Congratulations. The ending we have achieved is a good one. I believe this is relevant to the question you have asked. It sure is. It sure is. I can't think of a more thing that answered everything I just asked. So I guess actually my next question, so there a lot of um, different speedrunners have different controller preferences. I was wondering if, for the consoles you run, if there's a particular controller that you prefer and if that makes a difference. Well, it, it's a good thing you have asked because uh, I, my speedrun is played on three different controllers at once, just like these retro video game prints from Studio Pin Pin. We play on a in an NES controller, a Super Nintendo controller, as this very clearly is a Super Nintendo controller. And of course, whatever this is, I think it's a Genesis. I can't see anymore. <laughs> this has covered my eyes. It is a $10 minimum donation for all three at once, and unfortunately, they are not real controllers, so you cannot speed run on them. Right, right. Um, I mean, it's been just amazing following your journey into finally getting the record. You were pushing for it so hard. I know you wanted it. How did it feel when you finally got the record in this game? You know, when I finally got there, Blecky, it felt amazing. Just like finally getting to the grand prize of this event, an absolutely wonderful custom prop from Heroic Replicas. It could be your choice of a Master Sword and Hylian Shield, this absolutely beautiful fishbone guitar from Majora's Mask, or of course, if neither of those sounds good, a custom prop designed between you and Heroic Replicas. Got it. Yeah, that, that's great. I mean, I definitely have everything answered that I just asked, I think, maybe. So I guess the next question I have, one thing that's been popping up in these uh, GDQs recently is relays are becoming increasingly popular. So for any kind of sets of like additional, like multiple games being played at once, I was wondering if you had any thoughts on kind of the popularity of that as it's increased. Oh, for sure. And when talking about multiple games, I can't help but talk about the amazing uh, Dino Crisis banner we have from our good friend and artist LLK who does not only all of the wonderful art you see on these whiteboards in the interview segments, but also art on signage found throughout the event, the event map itself, as well as art we see on social media. A uh, huge shout out to LLK, and of course, that is a $50 minimum donation uh, during any time today for a one-of-a-kind GDQ banner featuring all of the dinosaurs you'll see in speedruns, including my upcoming speedrun, which I'm sure you will all very much... Uh, no, no, come on, Blackie, no! Oh my uh, goodness, all along, all along, it was... You weren't snet at all! No, you, were you, sent. you You figured it out, Blecky. My, my gambit to secretly sneak a run into the marathon has failed. It is, it is really me, sent after all. All right. Well, thank you, Sense. I guess I'm appreciative for all your deception and lies. I really appreciate you showing uh, all these awesome prizes. Please keep on donating and keep on watching. Next up, we have Garfield Caught in the Act, run by Jangle Storm.